Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It's another edition of Ask the County. Joining us this morning is Saginaw County Treasurer, Tim Novak. How are good you? Good morning. Good, mo good hot morning. Good right? hot morning. Get ready but for you it. You know what? It's <laughs> summer's here. and It's exciting. In February, we were complaining. Uh, yes, we so. were. So no complaints, no, right? No, none. No, not allowed. <laughs> I'm with you. So today, friends, we are talking all about resources for senior residents in the area. So, Tim, Parkinson's disease can really be a difficult disease to manage, but now there's a support group in Saginaw. So tell us about that. Yeah, so Parkinson's disease, it's a progressive brain yeah. disorder that, if you know, it gets worse over time and it affects your coordination and balance and things like that. Well, so the... Commission Aging is partnered with the Michigan Parkinson's Foundation and so they provide every third Thursday okay. at one o'clock at the Senior Center over on Schust Road by Haithco Park, they provide um, a support group. So this is an opportunity for folks to kind of, um, they'll have you know, speakers there and they'll share coping techniques, um, knowledge and experience, they make new friends, just a way to kind of talk with other people that are experiencing this type right. of thing and they meet monthly, there's no registration required and it's free. Yeah. So it's just something that, you know, um, we don't have to worry about, you know, calling ahead or anything like that. Just, you know, and you can go when you can go and right. you know, every third Thursday is kind of a nice chance to talk with folks struggling with the same, yes. the same issues. I love that when you are talking with other people who are going through the same thing, it just gives you that, that love mm -hmm. and that comfort that you need to get it. Really it. Yeah. it really does, it really does. So Tim, you know, a lot of people, it's outdoor time, enjoying the summer outside, there are farmers markets, now some seniors, can actually get discounts for that fresh produce. Tell us about that. That's yeah, so great. it's called Senior Project Fresh. Okay. So it's something that that um, they offer. There's uh, coupons of twenty five dollars, which they spend like cash at participating farmers markets in Ooh. town. Um, the only thing that you're so they have to be sixty years old, and you have to meet um, some income requirements for for a single or a couple. And um, but really, what a great opportunity! And then they have to make an appointment. Okay. And then you have to listen to a speaker talk to you about nutrition. Oh, that's good. So it's kind of a you know we're gonna we're gonna bring you in. Yeah. We're gonna offer you twenty five dollars in a coupon so you can use at the farmers market on uh, local produce. Yes. And then um, you know listen to somebody explain to you a little bit about nutrition and uh, how it can be helpful for you to eat the right fruits and vegetables and how to eat them. That's good. Educate like yourself that. a little more. I Absolutely. love it. Absolutely. Okay, and that's really great for the seniors to make sure they're getting that fresh produce in their diet. You don't always have the opportunity to to have access to no, that year round. You don't. Um, so it's nice to have the local stuff, and there's little narrow windows for like strawberries and mm. things like that, and to know the timeliness and when to when to grab those. I love farmers markets produce. That's delicious. So fun. Yeah. Okay. So Tim. We're spending a lot of time outside right now. We all have to make sure that we're staying hydrated. Matthew tells us this constantly, all day long. Stay cool, stay hydrated. So we're in the 80s and 90s this week, Matthew says. So what are the signs that we need to drink more water and what are some ways that we can make sure we're doing that? So it's things you want to, because remember, this is about input-output, right? Yeah. So we, we're constantly using up water as our energy and, and, and the, heat, the hotter it is, the more we use. Right. So we have to make sure we're getting water. So in signs of dehydration, watching for, you know, dry mouth, mm. um, am I excessively tired? Okay. Um, things like, uh, do I get dizzy easy? Mm. So you want to kind of watch for those types of things to make sure that maybe all I need is, is a glass of water and rest, um, you know, if you can get to water. So it's good. Yeah, especially if you're working outside, you're doing the lawn yeah. or doing something, you need to keep yourself yeah. And it's really especially in this instance talking about our elderly folks making sure they yes. get enough water. Yes. Um, you know, and it can be kind of stubborn sometimes, yeah. right? Well, you all can. Um, but, you know, to make sure they're not just drinking water, but there's foods available too. Right. That's why I say make sure you can check on your elderly neighbors. You know, you have some next door. Mm -hmm. Go in and see how they're doing. Peek you know? at them, they you know, and you go outside to get the mail, yes. say hi. Yes. Um, but, you know, make sure that, but it's, it's drinking fluids, okay. non caffeinated fluids. Maybe yes. you can, maybe it's a, if it's a cool morning, which mm -hmm. I know we're not talking about now, but like a, a, a chicken broth in the morning, right? Um, that make you feel better, or is it iced tea? Okay. Um, you know, watermelon, cucumbers, yeah. those other types of foods that are full of full of, of liquids yes. that would be helpful as well. Mm -hmm. This we can all stay hydrated, no matter what your age are. I know no. we're talking about seniors today, but even the little know, ones out there playing all day yeah, long, they need to stay hydrated. They need to keep hydrated. an eye on. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, so we're all in this together. So that makes that's right. We have to make sure we do that. So anything else you'd like to add today before we head out? No, just enjoy the yeah. weather. It's beautiful outside, and uh, you know. Stay hydrated, maybe go in, in and out, yes. but, you know, but uh, don't take Michigan summers for granted. No. They are really special. There's they so really much to are. go out and enjoy and see in Michigan. Yeah, absolutely. We are so blessed absolutely. to be here. Thank you, Tim. Thank Appreciate you. you stopping by. If you have any questions that you would like to ask the county, just send them to WNEM at WNEM.com. Stick around. Matthew tells us just how high 
we are getting today. Stick around. <laughs>